All right, physics 40 b welcome back to another explainer video. My name is Armando Avalar, and today I'm going to be going over number 16.81. Um, and I do apologize in advance if you were assigned my video. My videos are usually pretty cringy. But anyway, let's go over the learning objectives. Uh, this problem mostly relates to this one. Uh, we're going to relate the properties of the wave, which are angular frequency, velocity, and wave number. So let's get right into it. Um, like I said, this is 16.81, so make sure you're doing the right video. Uh, so before we start, I just wanted to ask the question, uh, what is your favorite water Pokemon? And it has to be water. Trust me, it's relevant. I'll give you a minute to think about it. All right, let's go. So one way to monitor global warming is to measure the average temperature of the ocean, which is pretty cool. So researchers are doing this by measuring the time that it takes a sound pulse to travel underwater over large distances at a depth of 1,000 meters, where the ocean temperature holds steady near 4 degrees Celsius. So the average sound speed is 1480 meters per second and it's known from laboratory measurements that the sound speed increases four meters per second per one degree celsius increase in temperature so in one experiment where sounds generated near california are detected in the south pacific which is about 8,000 kilometers away um, it's asking if the smallest change that can be reliably detected is one second what is the smallest change in average temperature that can be measured now it seems like a lot and there is a lot of things to keep in mind. So let's break it down. So we're in the ocean, right? And I'm just going to put up some pictures of my favorite water Pokemon because we're in the ocean. So why not? I like uh, Mudkip right here. It's pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, we're measuring the temperature, right? This is my figure. I couldn't really think of a good one. So we're just going to do this. Um, so let's write down our notes. We know that the velocity of the wave is 1480 meters per second and that for every one degree celsius increase in temperature the speed will increase 14 meters per second or four sorry not 14 and we know that the distance that it travels is 8,000 kilometers we're going to convert that to meters and then with the distance and the velocity given we can find the time so you just divide distance by velocity which is shown here and we get our time which is 5400 seconds 54 zero 54.05 seconds, sorry. Um, so let's go back and reorganize our thoughts. So like I said before, we know that every one degree increase in temperature will make the speed increase a whopping four meters per second. And we know that the smallest time change that can be detected is one second. So we're going to take this, the time that we found in this side, the 54.05, and then either add or subtract one second. So we're going to be optimistic and we're subtracting one second, which basically implies that the ocean is getting colder and global warming is fake. <laughs> so we're going to add a second. Everything's getting slower. So from 14, from 54.05, we're going to get 54.06. This is right here. We're adding the second, and we're just doing the equation from this slide all over again. And our new time is, or our new velocity is 1479.83 meters per second. So a little bit slower. And then to find the change, you literally just subtract the old one and the new one, and then you get like the change in velocity, which is 0 0.17 meters per second. So let's take that to the next slide. So this is the basically the final step. This is where it gets confusing. So we need to make a ratio. We know that for every one degree Celsius decrease in temperature, the speed of sound will decrease four meters per second. So we basically have to set up an equation where we, where we need to cancel out like the meter per second because this is a ratio right here every one you get four right so one over four and it's asking us for the smallest uh, change in temperature so we need Celsius so we need to get rid of the meters per second somehow right so then we could just set up this equation so time uh, I just put T prime because I don't want to confuse it so t prime is equal to the ratio that we set up before, the 1 over 4, and we're multiplying that by our change in velocity, which is 0.17, which we found over here in this slide. And since the Celsius is on top and the meters per second are on the bottom, and you're multiplying by another meters per second, the meters per second will cancel out, and we're left with degrees Celsius, which to me makes sense. And when you plug it into the calculator, it's saying that the smallest, uh, smallest measurable temperature change is 0 0.0425 degrees Celsius and that's literally it let's go let's, we did it nice all right thank you 